The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. So very recently I became a GD for Flutter and Dart and I still remember almost two years ago writing on the Fireship video regarding how amazing it would be to become a GD. And personally I never really set out to become a GD. I will talk about some backstory of what I've done as well as some words of advice for what you can do to become a GD in the future. If you like this kind of videos make sure to like and subscribe as well as checking the full write up over at robertbrynhagen.com. So there are a bunch of different ways on how you can actually share knowledge. You can write blogs, you can do talks, you can create videos. Blog posts I found pretty boring in the beginning so I didn't really do them. And I weren't really a good speaker so conferences was out of the question. But it was something about videos that really got me going because you can just record every time and do it over and over again until you actually get it right. Now I promise my first video wasn't the best but at least I got it out there which was the start of this journey. I made my first video back in July 23rd of 2018 with one primary objective to teach people about things that I did not find any content about and this just spired on so I started creating more videos trying to cover different topics that I found hard to understand in the beginning and back then I never imagined being able to reach over a million views on my videos and then fast forwarding to May 23rd of 2019 which is about one year after I started making the videos. And I found Fireship's video about how to become a Google developer expert, which was a big motivator for me. And as I said in the beginning of the video, I even left a comment on that video saying that I want to become a GD sometime in the future. And I think you can already see the sarcasm in that comment because I never really imagined that I would actually become one. Now fast forwarding to about six months ago, when I really started pushing, creating content and teaching others more about Flutter and Dart. And it was also around this time I started thinking about how do I actually become a GD? Do I just get referred? Do I apply somewhere? Or how does it actually work? So I just decided to reach out to some of the people working at Google. And in turn that got me able to actually submit a application for becoming a GD. But I didn't really let that stop me from actually keep creating content. So I just kept creating content until my submission was reviewed and I got into the first interview which was from another GD. This was a super nervous part because this is the time when they will ask you some technical questions regarding the different technologies that you apply as a GD for. And it's around this time you really start to think about if you know enough to actually become a GD. But to my surprise it was a really fun conversation and questions already regarding things that I already teach out on this YouTube channel or people reaching out to me personally. In the next interview it was with a Google employee and this to me was more community aspect oriented compared to being more technical. And after this one I didn't feel as certain as I did after the first interview and now the waiting game actually began. So it's around this time I actually just waited to get a confirmation email either if I succeeded with the interview or if I didn't. And this is where the fun part begins, as I waited multiple days and didn't think that I received any actual notice or if I succeeded, I started searching my mailbox and in the spam folder in my mailbox I actually found that I had a mail from the GD program which was sent out to me like 10 minutes after the second interview that I passed it and that I was going to sign some things. So I had pretty much just sat there for a week thinking that I didn't get into it or that the interview didn't went as well just to then realize that it was used in the spam email of my inbox. All that was left was sign some documents and get the email of officially becoming a GDE in Flutter and Dart. And this is still weird thinking about. Even that I become the first GDE in Flutter and Dart in Sweden is a icing on the cake. So I want to leave you with a message. If you want to share content, if you want to teach people, you should just get started because you never really know what it may lead you. And if you are thinking about becoming or reaching out to become a GD, I recommend a video from Fireship where I explain on how to become a GD as well as the of course official website for it. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to like and subscribe as well as checking the full write up over at robertbrynager.com. Of course, if you also want to support me, you can check out Patreon down in the description and I will see you in the next video.